everyone. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna finally share our family values. We it's been have been, a long time coming. <laughs> we've been working on these for so long, editing them, just making sure they make sense for our family because we want these to be the things we remind ourselves daily. Like this is what the badgers stand for. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and these are, we expect that these will evolve over time. Yeah. But we spent a lot of time and and put a lot of thought into what we actually truly value in our family, exactly. things that we've learned and kind of got from our parents and um, our you know grandparents and things of that nature, things that we want to aspire to be like, and then things that we also things that we want to pass down to our kids, mm -hmm. core values, traits, beliefs, things of that nature that we want to pass down to them as well. Love it. Let's share them, Dale. So we have eight right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. and we've gone back and forth we've taken some out we've yep. put some we've taken together some out yeah so we've we've put a good amount of time into this and we're pretty happy with where they are now yeah. and it's something that we you know share with our kids we talk with our kids about we talk to ourselves about yeah and it's something that we really bring into like our weekly routines as a family love it so number one is we strive to be the person that God created us to be. I love that one. I feel like for us, God is very important in our home. And I feel like we're all here on earth for a certain reason. So for us, it's that good reminder. Like we want to wake up in the morning and strive to be that person. And I feel like that's that journey of knowing that. I feel like in our 30s, we're still trying to figure out what we want to be, right? But always remembering that we can, that journey, that process is just kind of part of that striving to be the best you can be. Absolutely. Number two, we matter. We matter. And I love when Ayla says that one. She's yeah. like, we matter. <laughs> yeah, she's, she said that on some of our videos. She said it uh, sometimes just during the week. Yes. But essentially, we just want everyone in our family yep. to understand that they have a place. Yep. Uh, here, they're here for a reason. Yep. They matter to us. Yep. Um, each person has something important to contribute. Mm. And we matter within the family and we also matter... Uh, in the world. So that was yeah. one that we wanted to just make sure that our kids, you know, really felt. I love that one. Um, number three, we inspire and elevate. Yes. <laughs> I love that one because it's just so empowering. We inspire and elevate each other. We inspire and elevate our community, our friends, our family. Like this is what we do as the Badgers. So when we go out in our careers or when we go out in our personal lives or as a family, that's our goal. We want to inspire and elevate people to be their best selves. Absolutely. So yeah. our, we want to do that within ourselves, yep. within the family, and then uh, with others. Love it. Number four is we get outside. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and that's kind of, that really comes from my family. The Badgers. <laughs> um, but essentially, we want to prioritize getting outside, mm -hmm. you know, doing things outdoors, being active, getting out into the, getting out into the world. Yes and not be just, you know, stuck inside all day. So that's something that, you know, we, we find really important. Yes. And we use it as a challenge. There's, you know, times where I challenge Tondi with that one, where I'm like- But we get outside. Exactly. I'm like, okay. I know you want to go on this walk right now, or do this or do that, but we get outside. I love that. So that was one that we, we uh, had some fun with. The other thing I want to add on We Get Outside is when we had the interview with the parents, they said that that was one of their main values, Dylan's parents. So I feel like we kind of brought in some of those grandparent family values into our now family values. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Number five is we are generous. That was specifically from the Chihuahua family, <laughs> right? Both families are very generous, but... They said that Your that was one of their, that. yeah, they said that that was one of their main values, um, being generous, giving to others, making sure that like we focus on giving, pouring love into others. It doesn't always have to be like a physical give, right? But mm -hmm. being there for people, being present for people and making sure that we're not living in this like selfish world. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. We're generous with our time. We're generous yes. with our resources. Yep. Um, whatever it is that we can give, we want to be generous and looking for those opportunities. Yeah. Number six is we celebrate each other. I love it. I love it. 
We celebrate each other, we're there, we're present, big or small, always making sure that we're reaching out to our friends, family, we're always there for each other. Like I, growing up, always remember like, my family being there for everything, right? And same mm -hmm. for you. And that's definitely something we want our kids to know. We are present. We're celebrated. We always celebrate each other. Yeah. We want we want them to know that we need to be able to show up for each other. Yes. You know, celebrate those success. Sometimes it's easy to just keep looking forward at what, what we want to accomplish, what we want to do. But we want to make sure we take time to celebrate have you know have fun with those wins that that people are having and make sure that we actually call those out yeah uh number seven so two more here number seven <laughs> is we prioritize mental physical and spiritual health i love that and this one is really like about self-care mm -hmm. prioritizing your you know not only your physical but mm -hmm. your mental health yep spiritual health mm -hmm. making sure that you're ta ta taking care of yourself yeah as an um as a person as a and knowing it's okay to to do that take that time do what you need to do to uh make sure you're feeling well and can show yeah. up as your best self and in my journey of being like a wellness nurse practitioner we talk about this all the time like to be your best self you have to take care of yourself ment mentally physically spiritually so you can really show up as your best self yeah absolutely and then number eight last but not least and this is not in any particular order this is kind of how we just listed them out yeah. but number eight is we embrace challenges mm -hmm. knowing that failure is part of the journey that's so deep i love it <laughs> we want to remind ourselves yes we want to remind we want our kids to be reminded about the fact that we want you to be, get out there and take yes. action we don't want you to get stuck yep being scared of failing yep we know that's going to be part of the journey mm -hmm. and that's not the end, you know, end game. You, you, you take the steps forward. Um, and if you fail, that's okay. You keep going, Absolutely. you figure, you eventually are going to figure out what works. And we want people to, we want people, our kids and ourselves to actually get out there, take action, not be afraid yeah. of, uh, not be afraid of failing and understand that's really and I feel process. like failure is such a burden to like everyone's life, right? Like you have these thoughts in your head. I can't do it. What if this happens? But imagine if you ever look back in your life and say you never tried. I feel like that's more painful than failing. So I feel like for us, just like embodying that, reminding ourselves daily and making sure our kids know that as they grow up, like it's okay to fail. Wow, Ayla, you fell off that bike. Get back up, girl. You got this. You know what I mean? And we've all been there <laughs> where we can share, you know, share stories stories of times yes. we failed yeah. or things didn't work out as planned, yes. but we know we just keep going, keep it moving. I love it. I love it. Those were our eight. Those are our eight. So <laughs> that, that took us some time to come up with. I know it's, you know, pretty short now, yeah. but we spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out what do we actually really value yes. in our lives and want to share with our kids and, and hold true within our family. Yes. Hopefully some of these resonated with you. Yeah. We'd love to hear what others others are coming up with for their own families but that's something that we really want to encourage people to do is actually uh you know start working on this for yourselves and your own families as well yeah i love it and what we do is with our family values we have them on display and we pick a new family value weekly so we kind of recycle that list of eight and the at the beginning of the week on mondays we are like okay this week it's we matter or this week it's we get outside and we remind each other that throughout the week so on those days where you're like ah oh, i really don't want to do that but i matter and i need to take care of myself or I get outside, so I'm going on that walk. Things like that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we try to tie things back to the values yeah. whenever we can. Love and it. like I said, these are things that aren't, you know, we don't embody all of these perfectly no. today. <laughs> no, right. It's things that we want to aspire to be exactly. and we're going to continue to work on. These are good reminders for ourselves and then also for our kids. So, Love it. Thanks all. Bye. Bye.